this is Johnny with the talk of Las Vegas. Are you kidding me? Look what we are today. We're down here at the Richard Steele Boxing Club. And if you don't know who Richard Steele is, well, then you were not a boxing fan. But if you were a boxing fan, you know who Richard Steele is. Richard, how are you today? I'm doing great. Now, you have a boxing club down here, right? Yes, I do. So, uh, how long have you been doing this? 17 years. 17 years. And uh, do you still referee? No. No. Uh, when? When was the last time you did a uh, fight? Mayweather and Zeb Judah, the last fight. And how long ago was that? I guess that was in, uh, in a while. That must have been 83. Okay. And now, did you watch... I'm sorry, 93. 93. Uh -huh. Did you watch the fight the other night? Yes, I did. What, did, what did you think of that fight? He's a great fighter. But what did you think of the fight? The fight was good. Did you think it was good? Oh, yeah, for a 40-year-old guy. Right. To be the 20... Uh, 30 oh, it was the fight before that. The fight before that. They just hugged each other. The whole, hey, break it up, break it up. You know, I didn't. But the Pacquiao fight, they were boxing. Yes. That that was the fight. Yes. That was something worth paying for. I didn't. But it was certainly worth paying for. Now, uh, what was the best fight that you've uh, read? Hagler and Leonard and and uh, Marvin Hagler and uh, Tommy Herman. That's the one that they just like for two rounds. They just kept slugging it out, slugging it. Oh my God! <laughs> if you, oh, that's that was one of my favorite fights I've ever seen. And I'm not really into boxing, but and uh, what do you think of the MMA? Do you do the MMA? Well, it's here? exciting that if you put the right two together. Right. You know, it's exciting, but uh, you know, I think they take a little too much punishment. Right. I like boxing. Yeah. The MMA not so much. Well, uh, tell people about your. Uh, establishment here. Who can come here when you're open? What's involved? <coughs> well, we open uh, Monday through Friday. Okay. And we open from 12 to 6. We have over um, 80 members. Okay. You know, from ages from 8 to 28. So we have a lot of young kids that come out of school and work out here. Just to keep them off the streets. Keep them off the Straight. streets. Straight and narrow. Teach them some uh, morals, right? Teach them some good habits. Okay. Uh, stay away from the negative things like drugs, alcohol, and, you know, all the bad things. Internet TV shows, that kind of stuff. <laughs> now, um, are you training them to be boxers, or are you training them just to be physical be fitness? Be good human being. Okay. Yeah, I'm training and them to be good human being. Now, occasionally, we get a couple of uh, fighters out of them, and. Uh, that's great. I love it. Right. You know, we have a couple, of, uh, couple of people that is going to the Olympic trial. Okay. So you know, that's great. You know. Uh, I have a couple of fights coming up. One with my landlord, <laughs> and one with my neighbor, and one with my boss. So let's see how that, uh, see how yeah, that turns out. Yeah, and four. Now, the, I knew that I was going to be talking to you, so I said, "What's the one question I want to? Have you ever been clocked?" Uh, Mike Tyson hit me once. <laughs> One was the grazing punch. Right. And uh, I got hit once before. Yeah. A couple times in right. 30 years. Right. That's pretty good. Not a bad average. Did they knock you out or just no. whoa? Okay. No, I just hit. Now, did you used to fight? Yes, I did. And how did you go? How did you do? I did good. I went to the uh, 1964 Olympic trial. Uh, that was in L.A.? That's where the Olympics were that year? Yeah. Okay. And then I, uh, uh